Louis and I met and married very young. Uh, when we got married, I had no idea about Louis' struggle with pornography, and I didn't know anything about the terrible trauma that he had suffered right before we met. Thirty years later, when Louis was caught with pornography, I was devastated. In that moment, everything I believed about my body, all that insecurity, was confirmed. Growing up in a disconnected home, um, my mom found a Playboy magazine under my bed and brought it to my dad. And I can still remember hearing my dad coming to my room. And I'm thinking, oh, crap. And I had been in and out of a, some trouble growing up, but um, and didn't expect the reaction that my dad had. Um, I mean, he was angry and threatened to throw me out of the house. And the words that he said to me still stick in, in, my, in my heart today. And he, he said, this stuff will rot your soul. And he said it with veins sticking out of his neck. And um, that was the extent of my sex talk with my dad. That was it. And so it confirmed never get caught with porn. So a couple of years after discovery, our son came to us late one night and told us that he had planned to commit suicide that day because of the shame and hopelessness that he felt because of an addiction to pornography that we didn't know about. And thankfully, though, God led us to Capstone Treatment Center in Arkansas. And it was during family week at Capstone that our son told us about everything about his addiction. We get home from Capstone, and I realize internally, I haven't told anybody, but I got a problem. Now what? Where do we go from here? So that led us to the book, Pure Desire, which led me to the website, which led me to purchase Conquer, invite guys, did a Conquer series, um, was very committed to changing my lifestyle, but I was going to do this by myself. I didn't need help. And I went through seven pillars, cover to cover, answered every question in depth by myself, because I didn't need anybody. And, uh, you know, how can you be a leader in your church and be struggling with this? And so the shroud of secrecy had to be maintained. So after we found Pure Desire, I started leading Betrayal and Beyond groups. Um, but even after leading three groups, I realized I am still really struggling with trusting Louis. And in my mind, it was like, how could I trust him when he had lied to me for so many years? And I couldn't figure out what to do. So I reached out to Pure Desire for personal counseling and they gave me Diane Roberts as my counselor who was absolutely wonderful. Diane recommended to us that we would do an evaluation to see if we needed couples counseling. After two and a half years of going it by myself, I felt like I was doing pretty good. So in frustration, I said to Lori, I will do anything you ask me to do to get you to trust me. And she just smiled and said, really? And um, I didn't know who she was counseling with. I didn't know. Uh, it, that was all kind of, a, I think, a godly secret. When our first meeting came, I hadn't taken this real serious. And then Dr. Ted shows up on the Zoom screen. And I just crapped my pants because I knew that something was going on behind the scenes and I wasn't going to get out of this thing. I went in the house and one morning Lori was eating breakfast and I came in and I sat down and I said, I'm not taking the polygraph. And this is what I remember saying, I have stuff in my past that you will never forgive me for. But I was stuck because I told her I would do anything to get her to trust me. I was too afraid to commit suicide, didn't have enough guts to leave her, and, and you know I loved her too much for that. So I was in the biggest double bind of my life without realizing. That was a really scary time for me. Uh, Dr. Ted told me that I had to lock up all of his guns. Actually it was a huge double bind for me too because you know at that point I was tempted to call the whole thing off because he was in such turmoil 
But yet at the same time, I knew that I had to go through with it because nothing was going to change. And then he had this huge secret that I knew nothing about. And that was really scary too because I kept thinking, what secret could he have kept for 30, 40 years that would you know, make him want to commit suicide? Dr. Ted began to really prod me about the polygraph and what's going on. And I made the statement to him, Lori will never forgive me for what happened to me. And he jumped on that statement and said, what do you mean, what happened to you? And so he was, he was able, I gave him enough of a glimpse into my heart to be able to prod me and get me through, uh, a, it was a long time, and a lot of tears and a lot of crying. Um, I, I told him, I said, when I was 17 years old, I was on a camping trip with, with some buddies. I got drunk, I don't remember a lot of it, but sometime in the evening, in the night, I was raped. You heard me crying upstairs with Dr. Ted, so she knew that something happened and we laid in bed and the emotions started to come and I cried and I cried and Lori held me and I finally was able to get the words out to Lori as to what happened to me. <laughs> she understood. And uh, she forgave me. She wasn't angry with me. Um, she just held me. And that night, 40 years of emotions that I probably should have been dealing with as I was going through life just came bubbling out and bursting out, rather. And it was the beginning of our second chapter of our marriage after 40 years. At that moment, all of the puzzle pieces fell together for me. Um, I just kept thinking, oh no wonder, he has struggled with addiction our whole marriage. We share our stories to offer hope. God used pure desire to make a huge difference in my life. Working through my own childhood trauma really helped me with the body image issues that I had. And now I can look in the mirror and be happy with what I see, even at 60 years old. The change that, that working with pure desire has done in my life and in our marriage, but then in also the ability to sit down with our adult kids and share my story with them and our story with them and the healing that that has brought and some of the understanding from my kids and in my son-in-laws has, has changed our family. If this had been available to us when we were 25 years old, think of the pain it would have saved.